Okay, welcome back. This is Evil Graham ninety three. Uh, sorry about the last one, but the video cut out. Um, so I'll go back to the review, and this is uh, George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Like I said, I like this film. I like the character there, Bob, the zombie, lovable uh, character, funny character as well. It's got some crazy scenes in this. Uh, very gory. Um, it's a very good film, though. It's my favourite out of the uh, uh, Living Dead trilogy or Dead trilogy or whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, this is a very good. Love, uh, like this one a lot. Next is uh, the one that put into the quadrilogy, and that's George A. Romero's Land of the Dead. Again, this one's very good, but I don't think it's as good as the other ones. Uh, it has another new zombie icon in it, that one right there. Uh, the Big Daddy zombie. He's, uh, I think that's what his name is anyway, but um, it's a uh, very good zombie film. Uh, it's got stars uh, Simon Baker from The Mentalist and um, Dennis Hopper there from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 and various other films. Um, I think it's got that one guy who plays that mutant in Heroes of Eyes remake as well. Um, I think he plays a character lizard in that, but it's a very good film. Next up is the remake of Dawn of the Dead. I like this one. Um, the zombies are very scary in this one because uh, of the fact that they run after the people, which makes the film more tense, I think. And um, yeah, I like this one. It also has a little cameo appearance from um, Ken Forey in it. Uh, who played in the original uh, Dawn, uh, yeah, Dawn of the Dead. Um, yeah, this is a very good one. I like this one a lot. Next up is the remake of Day of the Dead. Um, I think this one just ruined... Uh, was just ruined from the start. I don't like this one at all. Um, the zombies are more like Spider-Man on drugs and cause they climb all over the walls and everything, but... Some part, some scenes in this were good. Um, I don't like the way how they changed Bob in this, changed his name to Bud. Not that much of a difference, but um, yeah, I didn't like the way how they portrayed him in this. He was a bit, um, well, I don't know how to explain it really, but didn't like this one. Next is a horror comedy, and that's Shaun of the Dead. Uh, this is a very good film. A lot of people say they like this one. Um, it's got Simon Pegg in it, he's very funny, and uh, Nick Frost, uh, both of them are very funny, I like them in um, Hot Fuzz and Paul, that's a funny film, but yeah, if you like zombies and you like comedy, there's Shaun of the Dead, very good film. Next is a double feature, which is George A. Romero's The Crazies and The Crazies Remake, um, these are very strange films, um, I thought they'd be a bit like his uh, Living Dead films, but they're not. Um, well, the original isn't, but the remake is kind of zombie-ish. Um, yeah, I think I prefer the remake to the original. I didn't really like the original that much. Um, they're okay films. I wouldn't go on them that much, though. Next is the Zombie Flesh Eaters collection. Um, the first film, Zombie Flesh Eaters 1, is also known in America as... Lucio Felucci's Zombie or Zombie 2, however I want to say it, and then um, Zombie Eaters, Flesh Eaters 2 and 3 are um, known as Zombie 3 and Zombie 4 After Death. They should have put Zombie Flesh Eaters 4 in this, which would be Zombie 5, um, but they haven't. They just put Zombie Holocaust in it, and I thought that one was really stupid. I hated it so much. Um, yeah. They're very good films, apart from that last one, that is. Next is one of the more famous zombie films, if you call them zombies, but is Sam Raimi's The Evil Dead. This is the full uncut version. Uh, stars Bruce Campbell in it. He's quite funny in his uh, Evil Dead films. Um, very good, but um, I'm not that much of a fan of The Evil Dead, so what the hell, shoot me, I don't care. Uh, the Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Um, this is a Momentum Picture um, DVD release. Um, I, I thought this one was just like a reboot of the first one, really. Um, but I did like this one a little more better than the first one, I have to admit. Again, shoot me. And again, shoot me again, because this is my favourite one, The Army of Darkness. A lot of people didn't like this one. The sole reason why I like this one is because of Evil Ash. I think he's really funny. Um, no, that's not him there. I thought that was, but 
yeah, I love Eva Lash. He's quite funny. Um, it's a good film. Don't know why everyone hated it, but again, shoot me. Next is Wreck, the uh, Spanish. I think it's Spanish. The Spanish zombie film in the end about the zombies in the um, apartment complex. Um, it's a very good film. There is a second one, but I haven't got it. I want to get it though, but very scary and creepy. Done not Blair Witch and Beyond the Mask. Yeah, it's a very good film. Next is Quarantine, which is the American remake of Wreck. Didn't think this one worked as well as the first one. Well, as well as Wreck, I mean, but um, because like this one's more like rabies and the other one's like demonic powers, but it's still a good zombie film at that. But um, yeah, definitely see that if you like Wreck. Next is another horror comedy, and that's Zombieland. Not as funny as Shaun of the Dead, but it is some bits of it are hilarious. Uh, Woody Harrelson stars in this. He's quite funny in this, um, along with uh, Bill Murray. Uh, love Bill Murray uh, from Ghostbusters. Yeah, funny film. Next is some of my favourite zombie films, and they're 28 Days Later. This is a limited edition, and I think in this one it's got a, um, like a little uh, chapter from... The uh, graphic novel, which I've got in full. Um, I did like this film. I like the graphic novel. Very good. It's got Christopher Eccleston in it. He played in Doctor Who. Like this film a lot. Good zombies. Next is the uh, sequel, which is 28 Weeks Later. Didn't like this one as much as the first one, but some of it was really good. Um, got Robert Carlyle in it. There he is there, running away from a bunch of zombies. Um... It, yeah, it's not that good, but not that bad either. Next is The House of the Dead. I hate this film so much. Uh, it's low budget, it's cheesy, it's rubbish. I'll leave her at that. Oh, oh God, I don't know why I bought this one, but <laughs> House of the Dead 2, Dead Aim. I had the first one, thought I might as well get the second one. Um, yeah, it's bad. Won't go any more on them ones. Next is Sam Raimi, uh, Raimi's Boogeyman. Uh, this is from the uh, producers of The Grudge. Like this one. Uh, 